Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Very good. Okay, I am very happy to see you again, to listen to you. Well, to have you in class and for sure to share another day of learning. I hope you had a very beautiful day today. Hello, Mr. Juan Antonio. Good to see you. Hi, teacher. And for sure today we are going to keep on working on the topic that we started yesterday about the clothing and about the colors and about the pieces of clothing, right? And about the different parts that we covered yesterday. Yesterday we were using uh, the different forms of ING to describe how to talk about clothing, right? Wearing. Sentences with I am wearing and sentences with I am not wearing. Right, so this is what we're going to reinforce today. And for sure, when all your other classmates connect, we are going to create uh, some of the examples for the sentences. And we're going to um, show up a bit uh, the things that we're wearing, how we're using it, and for sure, to create more examples. So let's start. Or day I am going to share my screen so you can see it. My God, time really flies. I was checking that we only have tomorrow and next week for the module to be done. Solo nos queda mañana y los cuatro días de la otra semana para terminar el módulo. Y se acabó. And I'm like, no, oh no. I don't want it to finish. I don't want you to go. You are a very nice. Nada. No, it's because eh, we switch. A nosotros nos cambian cada módulo con diferentes grupos. Que si me los encuentro más adelante, si me los encuentro más adelante. Y es una alegría bien, bien linda. ¿verdad? Cuando de repente eh, me dicen, me asignan el grupo y veo qué grupo es y todo. Y cuando me dan el listado de estudiantes, yo digo, ¡Ay, mi alumno de nuevo! <ríe> es una gran alegría para mí. Pero... Eh, cada módulo tiene un, un docente distinto y pues lo importante es que ustedes vayan agarrando su ritmo de trabajo y todo para que sigan ordenados en todos los demás módulos. Para el día de mañana, eh, obviamente ya tenemos que haber terminado la sección 4, ya muchos de ustedes ya la hicieron y pues este para que la tengamos cubierta. ¿verdad? Y si pueden ya haber iniciado la 5, perfecto porque para la otra, ¿cuántos de ustedes ya avanzaron en la sección 4 o ya la terminaron? A ver, manitas. Ya, ya, listo. A mí solo me falta el examen final. Ok. El examen final de la sección 4. Excelente. Y ese es justo en lo que estamos trabajando ahora. Entonces les queda como, como bastante chévere que vamos a irla trabajando eh, juntos. No, mañana. El, el examen ah, del, final. El final, del, del final, final. Sí. Ah, that's fantastic. Ok. Entonces ahí ya no hay problema. Si sí, es solo el final final, ya. Excelente. Es súper, súper chivo de que ya, ya estuvo casi todo. Ok. So we're going to check on that tomorrow. Make sure that you have it finished. Si todavía no hemos trabajado alguna parte de la sección, recuerden trabajarla. La podemos trabajar mañana durante el día para que ya la tengan lista. Y si ya avanzan y terminan hasta la siguiente, pues perfecto. Ok. Let me share my screen. We're going to talk a bit on a conversation. We're going to do a little practice on colors and clothing, right? Here, where are the ladies, people? Where are the ladies? Where where are they? What is the name of this place? In the... Uh -huh. Dry, in the dry. In the dry, yeah, we, we call it, in in spanish well we call it dry clean but in english right it, it's called 
a laundromat. Oh. The laundromat, right? Let me change the color so you can see it. It's called a laundromat. It's when, where you go and you do the laundry. What is the laundry? Cuando vamos a hacer el lavado de la ropa. Okay, to do the laundry is lavar la ropa, right? The laundromat is the place where you can go and do the laundry. Here in El Salvador, we have many places now where you can go and do it. But the problem here is that they are very expensive, right? Que por una libra yeah. de ropa, super caro. So, <laughs> the laundromat is the place where you can go and, uh, and wash your clothes, right? Okay. So they are at the laundromat. And the conversation goes like this. Listen to the conversation and it says, great, our clothes are dry. Where's my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they are mine, sorry. So all the white clothes turn out to be, what color? What color did all the clothes turn? Light blue. They turned light blue, right? They turned light blue. So in this case, the, what was the problem of the of the laundry? What caused the problem? Mix color clothes with exactly white clothes. they mix color clothes with white clothes. And who was the guilty of the problem? The jinx, right? The guilty of staining everything. The jinx. So the jeans stained all the clothes. La mancho, right? It stained all the clothes. Let's do a little bit of practice. Repeat after me, students. Great, our clothes are dry. Great, our clothes are dry. Clothes. Clothes. Our clothes are dry. Oh, Where's my new blouse? Where's my, Where's my, my new, new blouse? blouse? What color is it? What color, what color is, is it? It's white. It's white. It's white. white. Here's a light blue blouse. Here's, Here's a light blue blouse. blouse. Is it yours? It is, it is yours. yours. Is it yours? Is it, is, it, is, it yours? is it yours? Is it like, es tuya? It's like, no, it's not mine. No, it's, no, it's, it's not, mine. not mine. Wait, it is mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. It's, it's a disaster. disaster. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Whose jeans are they? They are mine. They are mine. Sorry. 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 In this case of the conversation, when you use the word mine, what is the meaning? Mine. Mio. Mine. Mio. Right? It's Mio. And it says, where is my new blouse? Me, right? Oh, what is my new blouse? Donde esta mi blusa nueva? And in this mm. case, they're like, no, it's not mine. No es Mio. Right? And when you have here, all our clothes are light blue. All our clothes are light blue. What is the meaning of our in this case? 
Nosotros. Nuestras. Nuestras, right? <coughs> Nuestras. And when you say, whose jeans are they? De quién son estos jeans. Exactly, de quién. De quién son estos jeans, right? And when you say, is it yours? What do you mean by this? Tuyo? ¿Es tuyo? ¿Es esto es tuyo? It's like, no, it's not no, mine. No, Wait, no. it is mine, right? Sí, si era mío. So in this case, we have the use of my and mine, that they have different forms. And it is nice that you got the idea quickly. Let me see. Mr. Marlon and Carla Stephanie, can you help me to read it, please? Mr. Marlon okay. is going to be Pat and Carlita, you are Julie. Okay. Action. Great. Great. Our clothes are dry. What is my new blouse? Blouse. What? Blouse. What color it is it? Is it? Is it? It's white. Um, hers is white. How do you pronounce? Hairs. 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 Okay. Here's a light blue blouse. It is your. Is it yours? Is it, is it your? No. It's no, not mine. Wait, it's, it's mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our, or, oh no, all our clothes are light blue, light blue. Here's the problem. Is these new blue jeans? Whose jeans are dry, are they? Oh. They're, they're mine, sorry. They're mine, sorry. <laughs> right, it's like, it's a disaster. It's like, whose jeans are these? <laughs> they're mine, <laughs> sorry. Thank you, thank you, my dear class. Very nice, very nice. Thank you very much. Maria Teresa and Juan, can you help me to practice the conversation? Juan Antonio and Maria Teresa, go ahead. <laughs> Are dry. What is my new blouse? What color is it? It white. Here's here here a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new jeans. Who jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. <laughs> they are mine. Sorry. Okay. Thank you very much. Yay. In matters of pronunciation, when you say, here's a light blue blouse, here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? 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 You don't say yours. It's yours. Is it yours? Is it yours? Is it yours? Is it? Is it? Acuérdense que la pregunta va primero el verbo, después el el sujeto y después el complemento. Is it yours? Is it yours? All our clothes are light blue. No. All our clothes are light blue. All our clothes are light blue. Oh, they are mine. Sorry. They are mine. Sorry. It's like, uh, oops. <laughs> and you they escape. <laughs> Josue Mejia and Marta Jacqueline. Help me with the conversation. Go ahead. Right. Right. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Marta starts. Marta is going to start and then you continue. One, two, okay. three, action. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? White. Here's the light blue, light blue blouse. blouse. 
Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all, all clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's this new blue. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they are mine, sorry. Very good job, very good job. So, in this case, oh, they are mine, sorry. Where's my, where's my new blouse? Say, where's my new blouse? What color is it? Right, it's like, que color era, right? Is it yours? The types of questions, right? Remember that the questions have a specific intonation because we are asking, right? Si estamos dejando abierta la pregunta, necesitamos una respuesta, right? Is it yours? What color is it? Where is it? Where is my new blouse, right? Whose jeans are these? Whose jeans are they, right? Remember to make the intonation of the questions. So in this part, we were using a specific forms of adjectives and pronouns. And for sure, we were also using the possessive cases, right? When you say Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt, right? In this case, when you use the possessives, this one is not a verb to be, okay? Este no es el verbo to be. Esta es la forma del posesivo. It's Pat's blouse. Es la blusa de Pat. Julie's jeans. Son los jeans de Julie. Rex t-shirt. It's the t-shirt of Rex, right? Aquí no decimos Rex is t-shirt. No, it's Rex's t-shirt. Julie's jeans. Pat's blouse. Okay, in this case, you are using the possessive form and the object. So if you talk, for example, this is Natty's marker. This is Natty's blouse. If I say Norma's blouse is yellow. Marta's blouse is black. Marlon's t-shirt is green, <laughs> right? So in that case, you are using this form of possessive to show that something belongs to someone, right? So if I say like, the teacher's bottle is black, right? The teacher's bottle. And you are going to use the verb to be later on. So in this case, I am going to use Marlon as an example. And I say, Marlon's shirt is green. Okay, and as you can see here, here you have the verb. Ahí tienen el verbo, pero no es esta S que está contractada aquí. Esta S contractada significa la posesión del objeto que le precede. O que le, que le sigue en este caso. Marlon's shirt es la camisa de Marlon. Okay? So, if you are going to show me something yours, tell me, take an object. Agarren un objeto cualquiera. Agarren un objeto cualquiera que tengan ahí. Cualquier objeto, puede ser su celular, puede ser alguna, algún cuaderno, un lapicero, lo que sea. Un peluche, ok, very good. So, this is Natty's cell phone. This is Natty's cell phone. Show me your object, tell me your name, and tell me the name of the object. Natty's cell phone is pink. I have another sentence, right? This is Natty's phone. Give me your example with the object that you have there. Uh -huh. Carla Stephanie, what is that? What is it? This is, this is Carla. Carla. Carla's, uh-huh, because it's yours. This, this is Carla's toy. This is Carla's toy. Very good. Juan. Juan's cell phone. This is Juan's cell phone. Very good. Marta Jacqueline. How do you say peluche? It's teddy peluche. bear. No, teddy bear. Uh, Marta's teddy bear is pink. Marta's teddy bear is pink. Very good. Luis Eduardo. Tengo la pregunta. Si yo, mi nombre termina en S. Ah, you just mention it, but you don't write it. Solo se menciona, más no se escribe. In this case, you say Luis. Luis. Okay. Right. 
This is Luis one cell phone. Okay. You say Luis cell phone. Luis cell phone, okay. Luis cell phone. Solo okay. mencionaríamos como el Luis cell phone. Pero okay. en la escritura solo le pone el apóstrofe. Ya no se le pone ah. la S. Okay. Okay, good. Let's see, María Teresa. The microphone, sweetie. I cannot listen. No logro escuchar bien porque está lloviendo mucho acá. Ah, ok. Estoy ok, bien María. Bien Busquemos un objeto. Cualquier objeto que tenga ahí nos lo muestra. Okay. Una tijera. Ok. ¿Cómo haríamos la oración para la tijera? Ajá. Marías. Marías. Scissors. Marías Scissors. Que son las tijeras de María. Yeah. Exactly. Let's see. Jorge, give me your example. Jorge cups is white. Jorge's cup is white. Jorge's cup is white. Very good. Marlon. Marlon. Marlon's cup. Mario Antonio. Mario's umbrella is blue. Mario's umbrella is blue. Very good. Linda. Linda's is mouse. Linda's mouse. Right? Linda's, Linda's mouse. mouse. Very good. Nelson. Rodis. Nelson. Okay, Nelson. <laughs> Nelson's barrel. Nelson's Battle. Good. So, do you like Rod Roddy? ¿Te gusta más que te digan Roddy sí. o Nelson? Ah, bueno, ya sé. Ya Roddy. Bien, falta de confianza. <laughs> <laughs> ok, Roddy. María Elena, give me your example. Uh, no sé cómo se dice esto. <laughs> Pandero. Oh. Ah, let me see. Ay, I knew it, but I don't remember. I have a friend who knows. Tengo un amigo que se lo sabe todas, todas. And it will be pander. It will be <laughs> pander or something like that. Okay. Let's see. Instrument. Let's call it instrument right now. Entonces, ¿cómo, cómo sería mi oración? María's instrument. María is instrument. María's, porque le agregamos ah. la S. María's María. instrument. Ah, instrument. tambourine. Lo sabía. Uh, tambourine. <laughs> I am going to send it on the chat. This is for everybody. Aquí aprendemos todo. Um, tambourine. It's a tambourine. Marías, tambourine. Marías, tambourine. Tambourine. Very good. Leticia, what is your object? Leticia's pencil case is orange. Leticia's pencil case is orange. Very good. Jose Alexander. Um, Alex Notebook. Alex Notebook, right? Alex Notebook. Very good. Let's see. Josue Mejia. Josue's Pencil. Josue's Pencil. Very good. Catherine Portillo. Uh, Katy. Katy's cup is white. Katy's cup is white. That is the traditional cup of every Salvadorian house. Si en su casa no hay una de esas, usted no es salvadoreño. <laughs> Definitely. No le vamos a dar crédito a la marca, pero sí hay. Hay una en cada casa. Mr. José Alexander. Eh, una pregunta en mi caso yes. que le mencioné. Alex, eh, la S, ¿cómo iría? Alex. Solo así nomás. Alex. Eh, o... Yo Siempre se la... menciona, es Alex. Sí. Uh -huh. eh, lo, lo, los únicos que no se escriben es cuando terminan en S. Cuando terminan en S uh -huh. no se ponen. Pero Alex, Alex, apóstrofe S. Alex. Ah, ok. Yes. Thank you very much. María Guadalupe. Marías Pencil. Marías Pencil. Very good. Marías Pencil uh -huh. and... Am I missing someone? ¿Quién se me queda? No, ya lo dijeron todos, vean. Rodrigo, give me your example. Chelsea. 
Chá, Rodrigo, on the spot. Hi, teacher. Hello, Hola. welcome. Uh, Hi, uh -huh. We're Rodrigo, talking. Uh -huh. Rodrigo's car is black. Rodrigo's car is black. Very good job. Okay, now that we are more than 10 in the class, I am going to call the attendance and then we are going to work in groups. In the groups, you are going to describe the clothing that you are wearing, okay? Se van a ir a, a grupos más chiquitos y ahí van a describir toda la ropa que andan puesta. Y ahí van a hacer ahí su momento de modelaje y fama. So you're going to say, I am wearing, today I am wearing, you say, a turquoise necklace, a black and white shirt, brown jeans, and black shoes. And I am wearing a black pin on my hair. Okay, and you are going to describe and show, right? In the groups. In the groups, you are going to describe and show uh, the objects that you are wearing. But I am going to do that. Uh, you are going to do that with your group of friends. I am going to call the attendance before you go. Te voy a pasar lista antes de mandarlos a los grupos para que ya cuando volvamos solo reportemos. Okay. Remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here. Siempre su nombre completo como aparece en el DUI tiene que estar presentado en pantalla. Recuerden. Porque de repente me dicen, sí, no, que sí estuve. Pero tal vez en el video queda grabado su nombre con otro, con otro eh, tag cuando entra. Pero ya creo que todos lo corrigen. <coughs> Jennifer Tatiana Gutiérrez. Jennifer Tatiana. Yes, no, here. What are you? No, she's not here today. Okay, let's continue. Jorge Alberto. Rivera Ramos. Present. Thank you very much. Uh, let's continue with Jose Alexander Hernandez. Here. Josue Mejia Martinez. Present. Juan Antonio Chavez. Here. Thank you. Juan Diego Mejia. Carla Lisette Martinez. Carla Lisette. Okay. No. Let's continue. Uh, Carla Nicole Hueso. Carla Stephanie Rivera. Present. Catherine Judith. Present. Thank you. Catherine Paola. Katia Dalila. Katia Dalila. Okay, no estamos. Uh, let's continue with Leticia Aide. Present. Thank you very much. Linda Beatriz. Present. Lucia Fernanda. Uh, Luis Eduardo Méndez. Present. Thank you. Manuel Alfredo Cruz. María Elena Galdames. Present. Thank you. María Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. María Teresa Murillo. Present. Thank you. María Antonio Delgado. Present. Marlon José. Present. Thank you. Marta Jacqueline. Present. Thank you. Miguel Leonidas. Nelson uh, Rodi. <laughs> Nelson Rodimiro. Present. Noemi Abigail. Norma Guadalupe. Present. Patricia Maricela Morales. Rodrigo Antonio Alvarado. Rodrigo Antonio. Present teacher. En Rosa Alba Coca. Okay. Thank you, my dear class. Let's see. I'm missing one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Now we are going to go to the groups, and on the groups you are going to make your uh, like little modeling moment. Right? You are going to be like, okay, class, I am going to describe my outfit today. Practice with me. 
I am going to describe. I am going to describe. I am going to describe. My outfit. My outfit. My outfit today. Today. My outfit today. And you say today. I am wearing. I am wearing. And then you start describing. Ya iban a ir describiendo todas las cosas con color y nombre. Okay. Today I am wearing, and then you're going to say uh, the blouse, the jacket, everything that you have on. Everything that you have on right now. Okay. Repeat me, please. Okay. Good evening. Today I am going to describe my outfit. Today I am going to describe my outfit. Today I am going to describe my outfit. I am today, wearing today I am going to describe my outfit today I am wearing and then you say the objects that you have on earrings necklace a watch the blouse the jeans socks sandals whatever you are wearing okay so you are going to have your little modeling moment okay you look very elegant today, so no problems. I am going to make the groups. We are going to have around four groups. I am going to go visit in the groups to listen, okay? To listen that you are practicing. Por ahí me van a ver llegar a sus grupos. Groups of four people, okay? Let's go and work in little groups. You are going to receive your invitation right now. Let's go to the groups. Keep your cameras on, remember. There you go. You are going to receive an invitation for you to join the groups. Thank you. Maria Elena, le llegó la invitación? Yes. And Linda. Okay. So I am going to give some minutes for my students to set up in their groups. And then I am going to go and listen to the description that they are doing about the clothing, the, the clothing they are wearing, okay? So let's go and check how students are doing. Ajá. Hola, Julio. Hola. Ah, ok. Hello, hello. Ay, es que no, se no. oye entrecortado. Es por la lluvia. ¿Quién es nuestro primer modelo? A ver. Va, Nelson, Nelson, Nelson Rodemir. Nelson estaba diciendo. Vamos, Nelson. Muestre al mundo y todo su, su hermoso outfit del día. Eh, me escucha bien. ¿Sí? Vaya, eh, sería today. Today I am wearing a blue sweater and green shorts. Ok, pero no lo vimos. <risa> Solo lo vimos así como okay. aquí. <laughs> y el modelo, ajá, ese es el you Pinchos. see, there you go, that's the description, that's the description, right, today I'm wearing, and then you show, right, you show ah, okay, okay. what you're wearing, okay, este es un momento okay, de modelaje it. aquí. <laughs> well, 
Otra vez, señor. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, and now, with you, Nelson Rodimiro from El Salvador. Okay. <laughs> Describe the clothes. Today, today I'm wearing a, a blue sweater and green shorts. <laughs> and green shorts. Don't you have shoes today? No. And barefoot. I'm wearing shoes. I am okay. not wearing shoes. Very good. I I'm am not, not wearing, shoes. wearing no. shoes. Good. Very good. Who's next? Can see. Maria no. Guadalupe. Ah, Maria Dice. Guadalupe. Go ahead. <laughs> She's very elegant today with the hair and all that. Es mi momento. Today I'm wearing um, blue shirts. Blue shirt. Uh huh. Um, ay, no puedo mostrar todo, ticho. Estoy en el teléfono. <ríe> Tengo el teléfono en la mano. Uh -huh. Pero eh, multicolor eh, skirt. Uh -huh. um, <ríe> shoes. Um, black shoes. Black shoes. Black shoes. Ok, good. Good. Let's see. Mister, who's next? Jorge. The microphone. Today I am wearing a dark blue t-shirt. Um, I am, ah, oh, I am wearing glass glasses. And glasses. I am wearing a uh, multicolor pants. <laughs> like this, <laughs> showing the pants. <laughs> multicolor pants. Okay, Norma Guadalupe. And um, today I am wearing yellow t-shirt. Yellow t-shirt, uh -huh. T-shirt uh, and gray uh, jeans. Uh -huh. and gray, gray jeans. Gray jeans, uh -huh. e And black, black shoes. Black shoes, right? Black shoes, gray jeans. And Linda. Black shoes. Good evening. Today I'm going to describe my office. Uh, I am wear to white blouse. Uh -huh. And I am wear black shirt. And I am wear black sandal. <laughs> and okay. I am not wear cap and sweater. Okay, you are not wearing cap and sweater, right? Thank you very much. I am going to go and listen to uh, one group more and then we're going to go back to the main session. You can practice again uh, while I finish. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, my Hello. models. Hello. <laughs> Did you finish? <laughs> yeah, it's raining very hard. Here, here, yes. at least in my neighborhood, it's raining really hard. <laughs> Did you finish describing your outfit? No, yet. Okay, so I need one or two examples. Estamos un par de ejemplos ahí, vamos. Sí, sí. Yes? Y vamos a anotar el del otro o solo entre nosotros y vamos a describir. No, you have to, for sure. If you are going to be here, you have to stand up for sure with your outfit. You are going to stand up and you are going to say, well, good evening, everybody. I am going to describe my outfit. Today I am wearing, and then you start describing everything, right? So like, I am wearing black blouse, black brown jeans, right? Black shoes. And then you show the shoes. I don't know how, but you show the shoes. Like, <laughs> I don't know how, but you show the shoes and then you describe your complete outfit, right? That's the way you have to do it. And you describe every single part. So I okay. need one volunteer to do it. Democraticamente, one, two, and three. Maria Teresa, go ahead, thank you very much. <laughs> and then Carla. <laughs> Ahí está, miren, nuestra modelo nos presenta desde El Salvador. ¿Flo? ¿Flo? ¿Sí me escuchas? Sí. Ahí está. 
Okay, a brown shirt. My jeans is black. Black jeans. <laughs> brown sandals. <laughs> Showing the sandal <laughs> in camera. Okay, brown sandals. Carla Stephanie, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I am going to describe hello, my outfit today. <laughs> yes. And today I'm, uh, I am wearing a light blue dress with white and black socks. Black socks. <laughs> there you go. Hey, uh, we can see. Hey, and, and a baby, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the extra yes. of the outfit. And a baby. <laughs> Marta Jacqueline. No sé si se me va a escuchar porque está lloviendo muy fuerte. We can listen, don't worry. Yo lo oigo bien, cabal a todos. Today I am wearing a dark blue blouse with puppy. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, a black jacket and black joggers and black. <laughs> That's very good, right? Very excellent explanation. Mr. Jose Alexander. Don't worry, I can listen. Yo creo que tengo muy buenos audífonos. Le oigo bien cabal a todos. I'm going to describe my outfit today. I'm wearing a multicolor t-shirt. And I am wearing a uh, green shirt. Green shirt. Yes. Only that. No sandals, no shoes, no nothing. <laughs> Juan Antonio, uh, go ahead. I'm going to share my office today. I'm wearing a black t-shirt. I'm wearing a, a gray shirt. And all that. And only that. <laughs> and, and chunya, right? <laughs> you are not wearing socks. Socks or shoes. Good. So let's go back. We're going to go back and listen to your friends. Let's go back to the groups. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back, my dear students. Thank you very much for sharing your outfits in the groups. Some of you are very creative. I like that one. <laughs> No, but I, I am here. I am here for, for everybody to see the models. Okay. Vamos a ver, vamos a pedir unos modelos voluntarios aquí. Marta, ya que ha sido la más creativa hasta el momento. <laughs> okay, my dear students. Mr. Rodrigo, can you describe to the class what are you wearing today? Why you? <laughs> because because I haven't seen your your camera in some days. Cuando lo habíamos visto en unos días aquí va para que lo veamos todo. Okay. Go I ahead. have a, a, a sport t-shirt lemon or okay. light green. Light green t-shirt. Light green t-shirt. Uh huh. Um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> brown jeans uh -huh. and and sport shoes black and black sport shoes uh, right black the color shoes. is first black sport shoes good okay. Marta Jacqueline show your talent to the group <laughs> today I am wearing a dark blue blouse with poppies <laughs> and a black jacket uh, black jackets 
<laughs> and black socks. <laughs> very good job. <laughs> She's very handy at the moment of describing. Very nice. Mr. Josue Mejia, go ahead. The model of the night. De El Salvador, para ustedes. Josue Mejia. Okay. Today, my office, I am wearing two multicolor and short color black. Black shorts. Black, black shorts. shorts. And multicolor under undershirt. Sure. Very good. Mr. Luis Eduardo, show the world your talent. Um, I am wearing blue shorts. Blue shorts. Uh -huh. um, I am wearing blue and white t-shirt. 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 I am wearing black sock. Black socks. Very good job. And the last one, it's going to be a lady. Maria Elena, describe your outfit. Um, I am wearing to dress, uh, no, black dress. Black dress, uh-huh. Uh -huh. I am beige uh, shorts. Sho shoes. <laughs> shoes. <laughs> uh, um, glass. Glasses, black glasses. And Catherine Portillo, because she's very colorful today. I am wearing today red with point white blue. Red and white blouse. Blouse, blouse. And blue pants, brown sleep. Okay, and brown sleepers. Very good job. So you see, that's the way you describe your outfit. Now you can do it in a normal way, right? You can do these TikToks like get ready with me. <laughs> now you can create your own TikToks. Mr. Mario, porque no lo habíamos visto en cámara. Cuéntenos, your outfit. Uh, today I'm wearing, I'm wearing black shirt, blue t-shirt. 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 And black shoes. Black shoes. Okay. I think that's a very complicated word for everybody. T shirt. T shirt. T -shirt. Okay. Teacher T -shirt. is it's the teacher, right? T shirt. That's something that we need to remember. T shirt. Very good job, my dear class. So, as we were working on the previous slide about the adjectives and the pronouns, right? When you say the uh, possessive adjectives, it's like my, your, his, hers, our, and their. Okay, eso lo estudiamos creo que en la primera clase. Los uh, adjetivos, right? Es mío, tuyo, el suyo de él, suyo de ella, nuestro y de ellos. Los pronombres, en este caso, van al final. Y decimos, these socks are mine, these socks are yours, these socks are his, son de él. These socks are hers, and these socks are ours or theirs. The possessive adjectives, here I have the description and the meaning, and I have the possessive pronouns, the description and the meaning, right? In the sentences that we are going to do, you are going to use the correct possessive adjective in the sentence. So if we have she, what is the correct possessive adjective that we need here? Her. Her, her. right? We need her. Let me write it here. This is, she lives her. with her brother. Con su hermano, right? I have your, your, your I have your, your pen. Your. I know. Better. Their, their, right? I know their, their mother, their. their mother, su mamá. Yo conozco a su mamá. She lives, oh, sorry, she likes. Está malo, está malo. In what? She and he. She is he. Eh, what about this one? Ah, no, number no, no, five. No, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> she likes her shoes. No, she likes. 
His shoes. A ella le gustan sus his. zapatos, pero los zapatos de él. Ah, pues está malo. Ajá. No, le gustan los zapatos de él. No. Bye. Ah, sí, va. Ajá. Es que no le gustan los de ella, le gustan los de él. She no likes. Clases. <laughs> ya ve. She likes his shoes. Le gustan los zapatos de él. Okay. In this one, the teacher has her, her, her book. Right? Her book. The next one, I buy our, 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 okay? our. I buy our, our food our. every day. Es como que me digan en esta que está malo. En esta es que se refiere que compra la comida nuestra. I buy our food every day. He loves it. It's, it's, it's music. He loves its music. De la radio. She wants my money. My. 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 It's my. Sure, sure. <laughs> she wants my money. <laughs> Let's shoot. <laughs> my she wants my money, right? In this case, uh, when you say she lives with her brother, ¿qué traducción tendría esta oración? Ella, ella vive con su hermano. Ella vive con su hermano. Y en el caso de las seis, the teacher has her book. La maestra, eh, maestra, la maestra tiene su libro. Tiene su libro. Eh, what about the number nine? Quiere mi dinero. Quiere mi dinero. Okay. Ella quiere mi dinero. <laughs> Ella no me quiere. Quiere mi dinero. Ella quiere mi dinero. And what about this one? In this one, we are going to use possessive pronouns, right? In this case, it says, I am riding my bike. The bike is my, my, my. mine. The, bag, the bike my. is mine. Okay, no. es mía. Mía de mí. The rings belong, the rings belong to Lucy. They are hairs. 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 Because you are talking about the rings, right? And they belong to Lucy. They are hairs. Son de ella. The next one. There is a book on your desk. Is, is, is it? Is, there is a book. There is a book on your desk. There is a book on your desk. Is it? Is it yours? Is, is it yours? Sure. Is it yours? Okay, hay un libro ahí en tu escritorio. Es tuyo, right? Is it yours? Yes. Number four. We have a computer. The computer is? Oh. Ours. Oh. Ours. Es nuestra. That money belongs to him. It is? Money. Yes. <laughs> it is mine, you say. That, money, that yes. money belongs to him. Yes. Este dinero le pertenece a él. Es yes. yes. Ya se lo quieren yes. robar. He is. Es de él, right? It's his. This garden belongs to them. It is. Yes. Yes. Theirs, right? It's theirs. Yes. The houses belong to us. They are ours. Very good. I have two cats. I have two cats. They are mine. They are mine. Are those shoes ants? Yes, they are. Hers. 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 Very good. Hers. Are these all the children's? Yes. No, they aren't theirs. Porque de los niños. Theirs. theirs. Okay, challenging, but it was good. It was good. Well, well done. In this one, I have one little example. And in this one, we're going to choose. We're going to choose on the options. And I am going to ask different people to help me, okay? Vamos a empezar y me va a empezar ayudando Jorge Alberto con el primero. Okay. Jorge, is this Jennifer's hat? Um, 
No, it's not her. It's my. Okay. No, it's not hers. It is mine. Very good. Okay, Jorge, ¿quién sigue para ayudarme? Yo. Nomíneme a alguien. Uh -huh. María, María Teresa. María Teresa, ok. So it says, no, it's not hers. It is mine. Good. María Teresa. Are these... Your? Your or yours? Uh, your. Your. Are these your gloves? No, they are not. Marta Jacqueline. No, they are not. They are not mine. They are not. My or mine? My gloves. Let's ask Sally. Linda. Maybe they are. Ok, ahí yo silencio a todos, lo siento. Eh, voy con Linda. Maybe they are hair or hair's gloves. Maybe they're hair's gloves. La segunda, hair's? Yes. Ok, ahí lo voy a dejar. Let's see. Leticia, whose or yours? Whose. 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 Whose t-shirts are those? Are they Julie's and Pat's? Let's see, Luis Eduardo. No, they are not. There. The first one or the second one? Second one. Theirs. Okay. okay. But these socks are. Eh, Roy? But these socks are. Theirs. Theirs. Second. The second one. Mm -hmm. And these shorts are, Josue? Yo. The first one or the second one? First. <laughs> okay. A todos los pongo en 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 que es como si no. A como. Let's see, Catherine Portillo. Hey, these are not ours. The first one or the second one? Second one. The second one. Second. Okay. You're right, Norma, the last one. You're right. Our or ours? The microphone, Normita. I cannot listen to you. Uh, or the first one. Sí. Okay. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Vamos a ver. Si este fuera examen para todos, nos hubiéramos sacado seis. <laughs> nos hubiéramos sacado seis si fuera examen para todos. Charan, cuá, 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 cuá. Why? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué nos hubiéramos sacado seis? Porque no sabemos. <ríe> no, no es por eso. Porque nos confundimos. Hubo una cosa bien específica que les dije y vuelvo aquí. ¿Dónde ocupamos los pronombres? Siempre van al final. De último. De último. Al final. Al final. Entonces, si el espacio que teníamos no estaba al final, no teníamos por qué usar un pronombre. Let's go back to the example. In this case, it says, maybe they are hair's gloves. Entonces, aquí es el primer error. ¿Por qué? Porque eran her. El siguiente. No, they are not their's t-shirts. Their, porque no estaba al final de la oración. And these shorts are, y aquí estaba el espacio al final de la oración, tenía que haber sido, yours. yours. Okay. 
So that's very important. That's very important. If you are going to use possessive adjectives, it's at the beginning of the sentence, right? In, in the middle, right? But possessive pronouns are always at the end. Son tuyo, son mio, son de ella, son de él, okay? So we are going to focus a little bit on this one. Nos vamos a enfocar un poquito en esto para el día de mañana para que nos quede claro ese tema de dónde usar pronouns, de dónde usar adjectives para que nos quede claro, ¿ok? Y no me digan, me puse nervioso. <laughs> <laughs> Have a beautiful night, my dear class. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for your last class of the week. Have a beautiful night. Rest and be careful Bye. with the rain. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.